Do you want to know how to get HQ proxies for free? Then watch this video until the end. Hi guys, it's Sudo Ken. As I said in the previous video, in this video I'm gonna show you how to scrape HQ proxies and how to find proxy sources. I'm gonna use those proxies on Megabug. But you guys can use your scrapped proxies for whatever you want. Okay guys, let's head to the tutorial. Open your browser and go to this URL. You can find it in the video description. To scrape proxies, I'm gonna use uProxy tool. I uploaded it to drivezilla.cc so you can download it from here. Also you guys can find the virus total link in the video description. But if you still don't trust the copy I share, you can simply search for it on Google and you can get a good copy. Ok, I'm gonna download it from here since Drivezilla is one of my websites. If you are gonna use Drivezilla for the first time, you have to log in using your Google account. Once you are logged in, you can download the package by clicking on the download button. Since you are a Drivezilla user, now you can share your own files on Google Drive through Drivezilla. So you can share your data with the anti-limit download feature. So your files never get download limit exceeded notice on Google Drive. Another feature of Drivezilla is, if one of your shared files is broken, Drivezilla will automatically regenerate the download link from the last successful download. Ok guys, I'm not taking your time anymore, if you want to know more about Drivezilla, put a comment below. Right, extract the zip file you downloaded and go to its folder. In the data folder, you can see a text file named sources. Yeah, it contains the default sources which proxy tools scrape proxies from. Proxy list on the default sources will be updated from time to time. But there is a possibility of being used the same proxy scrape from these default sources by many users at once. Then you will not get its best results. So I will show you how to find more proxy sources for getting more hits at the end of the video. Therefore watch this video until the end. Ok, let's run the application. Click on scrape, it will scrape proxies from the given sources. Now we have to check them and find the working ones. So click on check. I think this number of proxies are enough for the tutorial, so I stop the process. Right, I'm gonna create a text file to store the proxies we checked. Right, in the second step, I will show you how to use these proxies on Megabyte to download files from Mega without a limit. Now we are gonna download the latest version of Megabyte, so open your browser and type Megabyte in the search box. Go to the result from GitHub, next go to the releases section. In the previous update, the creator removed its built-in proxy list because it was really awful to him to update the built-in proxy list frequently. So guys, now we should have proxies to use its anti-limit download feature. No worries, now you guys know how to get proxies. Ok, let's download the latest package. Since I'm using Windows, I continue with this one. After downloading, extract the zip file and go to its folder. I'm not gonna explain anything about Megabyte application since I have made another video for that. I've already set the download path to this DL folder. To see how to set the download path to this folder, watch the previous video. Right, I have added several mega links to my clipboard, so I add one of them to downloads. Yeah, it's not downloading guys because I hit the download limit before recording this video. So guys, I cancel the current download and add proxies to Megabyte. Go to settings. Ok, 
check this checkbox. Now we can add those proxies we got. Then click on save. Now I'm gonna download another file with added proxies. Yeah, the indicator turned into orange. It means that Megabyte is trying to download the file through proxies we added. With these proxies, we can hit a good download speed. It all took me less than 4 minutes to download this file around 2 GB. Ok, let's add another mega link to download with proxies. Yeah, I think I hit the bandwidth limit for the number of added proxies. You should add more proxies to get more bandwidth for downloading files. I recommend you to scrape proxies with your own proxy sources, so you will get better results since you are not using the default sources that everyone uses. That's why I thought to show you guys how to find proxy sources. I tried two methods and both work great. Open your browser and go to this URL. You can find it in the video description. Yeah, it's a trade in blackhatworld.com. I'm gonna use this guy's proxy list. Since he has a long history on Black Hat World forum, I think I can trust his files. But if you feel that it isn't a good idea, you can use the second method. Right, go to the last page of the trade. Now you can find his latest update. Yeah, this one is from June 8th. Now open the link. I think it's not loading on Google server, so I open this link in my local machine. Oh, it says the website isn't good to visit, but I ignore the warning and go to the site. If you guys don't like to visit this website, just follow the second method. Here is the proxy list and now we can download it. We got sources. To find newer ones, jump to the bottom. I select some of newer sources and copy them. Now I'm going to add them to the sources file. But before adding, I rename the existing file as a backup and create a new text file to add those sources. Right, let's try scraping. Yeah, we got a bunch of proxies, now we can check them to filter working ones. Right, we got 43 working ones. Ok, let's head to the second method. First, check several proxies with default sources. I don't do it here because I already got a bunch of proxies. After having some working proxies, select one and copy the proxy.
Then open your browser and paste the copied proxy with the port on the search box with double quotation marks like this and hit enter. Now find for a proxy list. Oh here we found one, let's check it. Right, copy the URL of the web page and add it to the proxy source file. I remove existing sources and add the new one, so we can see if we hit working proxies or not with the new source. Mm, these proxies seem better. Let's try another source. We have no luck with this new one. Okay, I think now you guys know how to find HQ proxies and proxy sources. Also, how to use them on Mega software for downloading files from Mega without a limit. If you want to download from Mega and upload them to another cloud storage without using your own bandwidth, you guys can try this method to have a remote desktop with a high speed internet connection. And here, you can see Firefox is installed. So you can install Mega Bastard on the remote desktop to download files from Mega. And you can use the browser to upload those downloaded files to your cloud storages without using your own bandwidth. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. To watch more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.